Hey guys, it's Chris from Off Road Farm, and today we're going to change this into this. Today we're going to have a quick video on how to freshen up your leaf pack. Here's a close up of this bushing. You can see how it's really dried out and rotten, and you know it's got almost no flex to it. Now that we've got the leaf spring out of the truck, we're just going to remove these old, worn out rubber bushings so we can put some new greasable ones in. So you got two methods. You can use a drill bit to drill out the rubber until it gets loose enough you can eventually knock out that inner sleeve. Then we'll cut out and punch out that inner sleeve. You can also get a torch, heat up that inner sleeve until that rubber gets nice and soft and drive it out that way. Yeah, gotta watch out for that. So obviously if you've got a big torch, you're gonna be able to heat this up really quickly, but can you do this with a propane torch? I thought we would try and find out. I didn't really want to use a torch to burn these out, but after using one, that's the only way I'll do it from now on. It was a lot quicker, a lot easier than messing with that drill bit. Now you know your bushing's ready whenever you start hearing, hearing it sizzling and crackling like it is right now. So yeah, you can do it with just a propane torch. It just takes a little while. Whew, that's why I didn't want to burn them out. Oh, that smoke. So here's the metal sleeve that we need to cut out. The easiest way to do it is to just use a Sawzall right here in this groove and cut that out and then you can drive it out. Only problem is I can't find my Sawzall. I think somebody came and borrowed it. So I'm gonna try to use a porta band We'll see how that goes. Alright, that got us all the way through, now we just need to drive it out. The easiest way that I found to drive out this bushing is after you get it cut, go ahead and take your chisel, knock on both sides of that cut to try to loosen that bushing up. Once you get a little bit of space in there, then you can go to the other side. I take the end or the point of that chisel, bend over a little spot, and then I can use a punch and just drive it right out of there, no problems.
And there's that metal sleeve. Almost ready to take this spring pack apart, but before we do, I wanted to point one quick thing out to you. So we've got kind of got a mark here where our center pin is. Well, it's not really the center pin. Keep in mind that there's a good chance that that's not in the center. Now, it'll probably be obvious whenever you go to put this back together, it's gonna look wonky if you get one leaf the wrong way and one leaf the other way. But since this one has the big eye up front, we know this is up front and we can measure. And this one's only 13 and a half from the center pin to the end of the leaf. And that one's 15 and three quarters. So there is a difference on these leaves. Just kind of make a note of that. So that way whenever you go to put it together, everything lines up right. All right, before you take this center pin loose, I'm going to put a C-clamp on it just to kind of hold everything together. This is under pressure, and whenever you loosen this up, it will, when that nut comes loose, stuff will fly apart. It's apart now. So that's why we use a C-clamp. When we have it C-clamped up, after we get our center pin loose, we can just slowly loosen up our sleep camp and we don't have springs flying everywhere. So now we're just going to take a wire brush on an angle grinder and we're just going to try to clean everything up. Now if your springs are anything like mine, they were covered in rust, a lot of dirt. So wear a respirator, you don't want to be breathing this crap in, especially when you have two whole leaf packs to do this too. But just take your time, clean everything up, just get it the best you can, don't forget about the sides. And I also used a flap wheel inside of the bushing areas just to kind of clean those up a little bit too. Now that we have our leaves all nice and clean, we're just going to treat it with some rust dissolver. This is just Osfo. We're just going to paint it on both sides. Don't forget about your edges. And we'll just leave this overnight. This will just help take care of any of the rust that we missed or that we couldn't get to with our wire brush and get it ready for painting. We are ready to start painting. Now, before I did paint these, I did actually take all these leaves and I cleaned them off with some acetone just to get any of that osfo residue that was maybe still left on there off. And then I just hung them up. Now, you don't have to have anything fancy to hang these up. I mean, you can see I just used two step ladders, strapped a board across the top, and then hung everything up with some wire. Now, I am putting uh, two coats of primer on these before I put the actual paint. I just wanted a good base, so maybe this paint will stick a little bit, especially since these are leaves, and they're just going to be doing, they're going to be flexing. As soon as my primer was done and flashed, I went ahead and I just covered them with some black spray paint. Same thing, I did two coats, and now we're ready to start putting everything back together. When we were taking the leaf pack apart, a lot of these wear pads were pretty much destroyed. Even the ones that were still kind of together were still cracked and they're pretty much used up. So, I ordered some new ones from BD Spring. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's B-E-A-T-T-I-E -T -T -E, spring.com. Found them online. They had the wear pads for the uh, Chevy Springs. We're just gonna go ahead and put these in real quick and get this leaf pack back together. These new leaf pads, real easy to put in. You should just be able to line up the hole and then just push them in, just kind of wiggle them a little bit. And that's it. Whenever you go to reassemble your leaf pack, if you've got a long screwdriver, use that through all your center pin holes in your leaf spring. That helps keep everything aligned so when you get it compressed and clamped down, you can put your center pin in. Our leaf pack's ready to go back on our truck. Why did we have it off in the first place? Well, because we're doing a shackle flip. So if you want to know a little bit more about that, you can check the link that I'll put up here somewhere. And I just wanted to thank everybody for watching. If you like this video, please get the thumbs up button. If you want to see more like this, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, why am I pointing at people? What am I, Shooter McGavin or something?